So in a previous video, I said about how I was using this little battery meter to monitor the power that's in these found cells 12 volt device that I've made. And at the start of that video, I explained that this was a set when you get it out of the box for lead acid cells like your 12 volt battery in a car. Lithiums are different technology. So I think I've worked out how to do this. This setting button doesn't seem to change anything. But if you disconnect it from the power, hold the setting button and then connect it, it goes into this mode. So P at the start, see it says P at the start, that's P for lead, PB, that's lead acid. Then the second one is F, I think that's for LiPo batteries, LiPo4 batteries. And then the one that we want is L for lithium. I had to keep pressing that so it doesn't go away. So this now sets this for lithium cells. Now this is the number of cells you've got. So one, oh, not 17, 16. So I need to set this to L3. And then this should know, oh, I've gone too far. Oh, did that go the other way? Yeah. So L3. So that's the three cells there and it's lithium. So that should get it accurate now to measure the voltage, get the battery indicator right. Apparently to, um, to confirm your settings, you just have to unplug it, which is the most unintuitive thing ever. To save it, you just pull the power. I don't know. Well, let's see now. So uh, it's still showing empty because it is pretty empty. These are about as low as they go. If I measured these, it would be interesting. Um, but hopefully the BMS will stop these from going below their minimum voltage. And that's why you need to use a BMS. So this is a, just a little video. Hope you enjoyed this to explain how to use one of these little battery capacitor voltage meters. If you want to see more experiments with this, keep your eyes on my channel, subscribe, maybe even like this if you found it useful. Okay, bye.